Sure, we all know the expression, you can never have enough clams. I've said it myself, but over the years I've begun to realize that I'm mostly saying that ironically at this point. I think you really can have enough clams. Honestly, you can get by fine with just nine. I want to break down the types of clams I own into two categories. Essential clams and overrated clamps. And I want to point out that all of this is based on my individual experience over the past 40 years of woodworking. Every woodworker will have their own favorite go-to clamps. And I have no doubt that there are clamps that would probably be totally life-changing and transformative to me, but I have no real need to upgrade when these have served me quite well for years. I mean, seriously, clamps can be super expensive and I'm a cheapskate. Hey, just a quick reminder, if you're just starting out on your woodworking journey feeling a bit overwhelmed and don't know where to begin, I've created a step-by-step -step woodworking course just for you called The Weekend Woodworker. If you have never even held a saw in your life, you'll be able to complete your first project this weekend. And I wanna help you get started. I want you to download my free guide to setting up shop for under $1,000 at mytoolist.com. Pipe clamps are probably the cheapest clamps you can own. You buy these jaws separately, then you buy whatever length of pipe you want. Those are sold in either half inch or three quarter inch black pipes that you could buy at most home centers, lumber yards, or hardware stores with threads already on both ends. Some places will cut these to length, whatever you want, and then they'll cut the threads on there for you. The jaws screw onto the threads, then this other piece slides up and down the pipe for quick adjustments. Mine are three quarter inch diameter pipes, but I recommend saving the money and just getting half inch pipe. There's no reason why you really need the extra strength of three quarter inch when clamping things together. I find these 36 inch pipes the most versatile, especially for gluing up panels. And they're not too bulky if you need to use them for smaller projects. I recommend having four along with four sets of jaws. That way you can edge join boards together with two on each side. I also have four 48 inch long pipes for bigger glue ups, tabletops and such. And I've got a couple of these short 16 inch pipes that sometimes come in handy. I have the jaws for all of these, but really you can get by with just four sets of jaws and just swap them out as you need them. If you need to glue up something really long, just clamp two of these clamps together. Oh, and if you need to cover a little bit more surface area, make some clamping blocks to slide onto the pipes. They'll also help a little bit to protect the surface of your projects from the metal jaws. Bar clamps are easily my most used clamps. These six Bessie style clamps account for probably 90% of all of my clamping. They're simply that useful. I've had these for many, many years and there's hardly a project that they haven't been used in. I have three different sizes, about six inches, 12 inches, and 24 inches. At least that's about the effective working distance of the jaws. The handle broke off of this one a long time ago but it's still useful. I use bar clamps for everything from gluing just about anything to holding stop blocks onto my fences to just providing a third hand. This might seem an unusual pick, but I consider a strap clamp essential. Anytime I need to glue up something with four sides, say a box or a picture frame, a strap clamp is the best way to square everything up. And considering how many projects are based on the simple box, I'm always amazed at how handy this clamp is and how often I use it. Those are my recommendations for essential clamps. If you're a beginning woodworker, these will serve you fine for years. Bottom line, four bar clamps, four pipe clamps, and a strap clamp. You actually may not ever really need any more. But of course, if you're like most of us woodworkers, you'll probably accumulate more clamps than the essentials. There's bazillions of different types of clamps, from specialty clamps to some really gimmicky clamps. And it can be pretty fun and kind of enticing to imagine them in your shop, but as with all tools, stop and consider if it's really solving the problem that you have, or if it's just something you think, eh, it might be kind of handy. If you're itching to spend money, maybe consider buying some extra bar clamps instead. I wanna talk about three types of clamps that I've acquired over the years that 
I hardly ever use. I'm sure there are woodworkers who will strongly disagree with this, but remember, this is just based on my experience. Hand tool woodworkers seem to be drawn to these wooden hand screw clamps, and I think I've used this on a few occasions, mostly as a third hand to hold something in place. But overall, I've never really had a specific need for it that I can't accomplish with other clamps. Plus, it's it's kind of mind-boggling to figure out exactly how to use this. And plus they're expensive. I just maybe I was just in a kind of a quaint mood when I bought this, but not very useful in my workshop. Spring clamps are mostly used for holding things temporarily in place. Photographers like to use them for holding up backdrops and stuff, and sometimes I use them for like hanging sheets over the window if there's some harsh sunlight that's interfering with a particular shot that I want to get on video. But for woodworking, they're really not that practical. One problem is that the way these clamping heads pivot, it can cause glued up boards to slip. Unlike bar clamps and pipe clamps that provide straight horizontal pressure along an axis. And this can be really frustrating. Second, the larger the spring clamps are, the more grip strength you need to operate them one-handed. And that might not be enough pressure for glue ups anyway. Finally, C clamps. Yes, the classic C clamp. I've tried to love you, but I just can't. And really, it's not you, it's me. No, actually it is you. Look, I know plenty of woodworkers who just love using C clamps and that's perfectly fine. But honestly, I've never seen the point to them. There are very few times when a C clamp has provided the only solution to a clamping situation. Hey, maybe that extra wide mouth came in handy once or twice for having to reach over or beyond something, but mostly they're just time consuming because of all of the threads. Again, a bar clamp is just more efficient. Hey, let me know in the comments what are your essential clamps and what clamps do you think are just plain overrated? Thanks for watching everybody.